What was it like for the young cast to work with the original Coach Bombay? Did they all know how to skate before shooting? And have there been any freak accidents on set? Hi, I'm Claire. Let me tell you everything we know. Throwing it back. If you didn't already know by the title, The Mighty Ducks Game Changers is a reboot of the beloved 90s movie, with a twist. 30 years later, the once underdog ice hockey team is now too successful, and a new team of misfits, the Don't Bothers, is put together to put them to the test. But there are a number of clues hidden throughout the show that pay homage to the original series. And what's super cool? It's rumored that many of the original cast members will be making appearances throughout the series. Swayam Bhatia, who plays Sophie, said in an interview, There is an adult generation that knows it from the 1992 movie, and now we're introducing it to new people and new kids. One of the major throwbacks is the actor who plays Coach Bombay, Emilio Estevez. He is the same actor that played the original Coach, and he utters his famous line once again, I hate hockey and I don't like kids. The Grown Ups Coach Bombay was a vital part of the Mighty Ducks franchise, so it's no wonder Disney went out of their way to make sure they got the original star back. Brady Noon, who plays Evan Morrow, admitted, I think the main attraction's going to be from the original movie, that everyone's going to be interested in seeing Coach Bombay again and how he's changed, and the new, new Mighty Ducks. It's exactly how it was in that episode. We were all like, you're Emilio Westmus. Yeah. You're Gordon Bombay. Like, <laughs> so pretty much how that went down, uh, like me fanboying over him is exactly how it how it was in real life. So what was it like for Emilio to get back onto the ice after all this time? In an interview with ABC News, he said, Pain. It was miserable trying to get my skating legs back, but I did. And you'll see me skate in the upcoming episodes. We can only imagine. The other vital role is Alex Morrow, Evan's mom. She is played by Lauren Graham, who you may know from Gilmore Girls. After her son is kicked off the Duck Squad, she is the one who comes up with the idea to put together a whole new new team. The young stars loved working with both Lauren and Emilio, saying they were like on-set parents to them. Maxwell Simkins said, They were great mentors, always there with a smile. They cared more about us than themselves. It means a lot when big celebrities go out of their way to make sure every single one of us are okay. Isn't that just amazing? Play the game. Something that you might be wondering while watching the Mighty Ducks reboot, do the actors actually play hockey? Or is it all faked with stunt doubles? Well, turns out, according to Brady, the cast had two weeks of hockey training before filming the pilot episode. They shot the first episode, but had to take a six-month break due to COVID. When they returned, they did another two weeks of training. Did you know they had actual NHL players to coach them? How cool! Brady said in an interview with Screen Rant, everyone was alive better. Everyone was a lot quicker to pick up things because they already knew the fundamentals of hockey due to the pilot. It was pretty awesome. We all became really good, strong skaters. On location. Even though the show is set in Minnesota, it is actually filmed in Vancouver. And there are many Canadian actors who act in the series, too, like Kiefer O'Reilly, who plays the role of Logan. Did you know that Kiefer was a natural fit for his role as he grew up playing hockey? He said in an interview with Daily Hive, They wanted to see me play hockey. They wanted me to send a video. And they liked it enough to book me. Impressive! The series is shot in various places around Vancouver, including the University of Fraser Valley and the Abbotsford Center. They also used many custom-built ice rinks to shoot some of the hockey scenes. What a laugh. Having to film while kids skate on ice and play hockey has to be a lot of fun. And according to the cast, it was just that. A lot of fun with a lot of laughs, too. Maxwell Simkins, who plays Nick, fondly remembers trying to show off a cool new trick he'd learned and ended up just falling over and hurting himself. He said, You'd fall and you'd be crying in front of everyone. It was embarrassing. It was really embarrassing. While Swayam also said she fell many times and once even twisted her rib and hit her head. Ouch, sounds painful. Want to know more about the kids that make up the cast of this awesome new show? Stay tuned! The Kids Before being cast as Evan, Brady had quite the impressive resume, which included a role on Boardwalk Empire and a role in Jennifer Lopez's new film, Marry Me. Brady had the best time on the set of the Mighty Ducks reboot, and was always snapping pictures for Instagram like this one that he captioned, Nothing like having Coach Bombay training us, let's go Ducks! 
As for his character, Brady says he is just like Charlie Conway from the original show. He said, He's the captain of the Mighty Ducks team, and I'm the captain of the Don't Bothers. I think it's pretty cool similarities. Me as Evan and Charlie both have a close, tight connection to Gordon Bombay, as you'll see in the Mighty Ducks Game Changers. Evan Morrow is the captain of the Don't Bothers. Pretty much forms this ragtag team of unique people who come together and they become the Don't Bothers. Maxwell Simpkins has been acting since he was only six years old. One of his major roles was alongside Hollywood legends Diane Keaton and Steve Martin in the 2015 film Love the Coopers. When it comes to his role as Nick Gaines, well, he didn't actually have any hockey experience before he was cast. In an interview with the That Hashtag Show, Maxwell admitted that his character is not very good on the ice. So, in a way, he was under a lot less pressure than his castmates when it came to performing. Fun fact, Maxwell is also a rapper and would love to pursue a career in rapping. He wants you to introduce yourself. He's, he's more of a shy guy. Um, but yeah, he's... We both are very energetic, though. We both are like uh, me on a Capri Sun Sugar High. Swayam Bhatia is a multi-talented young lady whose resume includes acting, singing, dancing, modeling, and drumming. She started working in the entertainment industry when she was only three years old. Her most famous roles are on Succession and Master of None. As Sophie Hudson Batra on The Mighty Ducks, she is fierce and highly skilled, and actually a member of the Duck Squad. Swayam admitted it was a challenge remembering the hockey techniques and the rehearsed matches as well as being in character. She said in an interview with The Hindu, There is so much happening in your head at that time, but I love that experience because you're always aware of the cameras moving around you and your own expressions and how the match is going. I had such a fun time playing her, honestly. She's really cool and I really want to be her friend if I could. Um, you know, she's smart, she always gets A pluses, she's supposed to go to Harvard and all. And um, did, honestly, she's like such a cool girl. Did you know that Swayam grew up in Dubai and is also a figure skater? Wow. What is Swayam's favorite thing about playing Sophie? She loves that she gets to play a strong girl of color who is also an amazing hockey player. She feels that representation is very important because it is something that is lacking on the sports scene. She is also very active on TikTok and shared some behind the scenes fun time with her friends and castmates. Looks like a lot of fun. Another familiar face to appear on the show is Kiefer O'Reilly, who plays Logan. Kiefer has quite the impressive resume with roles on shows like The Good Doctor, Legends of Tomorrow, and Home Before Dark. Kiefer originally auditioned for the role of Nick and then Evan, but the showrunners weren't sold. Then they screen tested him as Logan and he got the part. Kiefer grew up watching The Mighty Ducks and playing hockey, so he was really excited when he eventually landed the role. His favorite favorite part? Working with Emilio Estevez. In an interview with CBR, he said, It was really nerve-wracking, but then I got to have a talk with him and he was actually really down-to-earth and a really, really sweet guy. Having grown up on the ice, it was a bit of a challenge to turn himself into a bad skater for the role. But during their training period, Kiefer says he was taught by the coaches how to not balance, to hold the stick incorrectly, and how to not skate. Sounds hilarious. The kids really loved shooting this series, especially the heart and soul behind the message. Maxwell's main takeaway from the show? It's not about how many times you get knocked down, but how many times you have the grit and the strength to get back up and keep fighting your way and getting to where you want to be. Have you watched this show now streaming on Disney Plus? Let us know what you think in the comments!